What's good YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're doing the Miami Heat offseason predictions. Sorry for no upload yesterday. I was actually kind of busy. As you can tell, I'm in a new room. I'll explain a little bit later, maybe in the next video or something like that. But of course, thank you guys so much for clicking on. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We're so close to 1,700 subscribers. So if we can do that today, that would be awesome. By the end of the month, it would be awesome too. So thank you guys so much again. Hope you guys do enjoy the video. Miami Heat were knocked out by the 76ers. Let's see what we can do in their offseason. today is still broken but i wanted to show you guys something real quick do you guys look i just simulated a season and you guys look at these playoffs it is basically the playoffs in real life it's just the seating is different which is very interesting to me i've never seen that on 2k raptors wizards that's correct wizards are the eighth seed raptors are the first seed and then you got the milwaukee bucks they're they're not above the celtics and then you got miami heat and sixers which is correct and then it should be the fourth and the fifth seed but it's very interesting and of course we we're eliminated just like the miami heat were eliminated yesterday but of course we have an off season to do it's going to be very interesting to see what we can do for this miami heat team uh basically my bold predictions basically what we think is going to happen in the off season it's not bold predictions but we're going to be doing a realistic off season rebuild you guys already know what the deal is player retirement i do not want d wade to retire i think d ray needs to stay one more season they can still be competitive i think with d wade so we're gonna go ahead go through this off season get things done i don't even think the miami heat will have their draft pick i looked it up and said it's going to belong to the Suns since they made the playoffs so i'm not sure what their draft pick uh stipulations were but if they do have a draft pick i don't know why yes they do not have a draft pick. all right so there's a man that's been going around saying that he's probably he's not he's unhappy with his role with the miami heat which might lead him to being traded this offseason which i'm going to be doing today i will be trading hassan whiteside but there's not a lot this team could do honestly they don't have a ton of cast space they really don't i mean deon waiters coming back might be helpful to them but hassan whiteside is going to get out of here like literally there's just contracts galore for this whole team so this team is basically built like they're ready to compete they already have tons of contracts going in everybody i think they definitely should resign wayne ellington if they can he did have a nice season with them and then everyone else can walk besides wayne ellington and d wade it looks like they should do and then you got to trade hassan, hassan whiteside to see what you can get for him so i'm gonna go ahead and do that let's see what we can get for Hassan whiteside he's on he has one year left on his contract so you can't get anything too tremendous but let's see what we can get for him all right so i do have a trade lined up for Hassan whiteside but it can't make sense yet until we're later in free agency and i think it makes all the sense in the world it's something that could potentially happen i think it's already been talked about before so i will be making something happen but right now i'm just gonna resign uh, D Wade. That's what we really need to do. D Wade, and we can't even afford our man, D Wade. Wow. I don't even have like bird rights on him or anything, man. That's that's a uh, that's that sucks. That really does. I absolutely think that the can I believe the Miami Heat should be able to afford him, right? I mean, I don't know. Maybe they can't. I don't know. But Wayne Ellington, what about Wayne Ellington? I don't know if they should resign Wayne Ellington, though, because they would have like three shooting guards on the roster. But since he wants a minimum offer, I will give him, an, I'll throw him an offer. They already have like, they have Dan Waiters coming back. So I don't know what they're going to do about him. But it just, I don't know. It's just uh, a big old mess for the Miami Heat, I think. They have a lot of players at the same position. So let's see what we got so d wade accepts and we can get all right so we can get d wade and wayne ellington back that's what i wanted to do in the first place so we got them back and let's see and the guy that our trade partner was going to be with is already signed so this is what i see something like this happening i see hassan whiteside for jabari parker package potentially happening obviously i can't do it yet till after moratorium day but i think the bucks do a sign and trade they re sign jabari parker to a max con or not to a max but they give him a nice contract and then they trade for Hassan Whiteside. Maybe Hassan Whiteside accepts his player option, which I think there's a potential he could because his player option is 27 mil. And then you got Hassan Whiteside next to Giannis, Malcolm Brogdon, Bledsoe, all those guys. And the Bucks really do need a center. So I think that's something that would make sense for both parties. So let's just resign these guys. And then let's make this trade for Hassan Whiteside. So now we got, or yeah, this trade for Jabari Parker. So let's see we can make it happen i'm just wondering if we should if there should be any more pieces in this trade maybe the miami heat give up a second rounder i mean is there anyone else we can give up no i don't think there really is i think we should just leave it how it is 
Maybe they trade Wayne Ellington in the trade as well. Give the Bucks another nice backup shooting guard or something like that. I could potentially see something like that happening. So I'll go ahead, Hassan Whiteside, second round pick, and Wayne Ellington for Jabari Parker. Let's see if they take this. And they still don't take it. But you know what, guys? I think this is a trade that could potentially happen in real life. So I'm going to make this trade go through. And uh, the Miami Heat will have a nice young piece in Jabari Parker. That is the final trade we just made. So Hassan Whiteside has moved on. And the reason why, I think D Wade probably going to run some of the backup point guard. I bet he goes down. Yeah, he goes down at a backup point guard. But I think he's he's basically the backup point guard for this team. He's the ball handler. So I, that's fine with me. And you got Deion Waiters, Tyler Johnson, which I expect Deion Waiters maybe to come back and start. If not, they'll definitely start Tyler Johnson. Josh Richardson is still going to start. I think James Johnson will hit the bench now, even though he was starting. And then Justice, or to be the backup power forward kind of guy. And he got Justice Winslow to still the backup small forward. I think he uh, really reinvented himself being able to shoot threes and stuff. So that's good. And then I think Bam Adebayo might be the starting center. Because, I mean, he's shown some promise out there. And I think the Miami Heat would be okay with letting him start at the center position. So I don't think the Miami Heat could do much other than trade Hassan Whiteside, re-sign D. Wade. And then I think that's all the Miami Heat really need to do. They already have a lot of players at every position. So, I mean... You have Deion Waiters coming back. Hopefully, he comes back strong because he did have a great year with the Miami Heat before that. So, I've, I fully expect the Miami Heat to be another uh, a playoff team again next year. I definitely see them being a playoff team next year. Like I said, they have a lot of these guys on long-term contracts. So, they're basically going to be the same team next year. And they could trade Hassan Whiteside. I mean, they don't have to go out and get Jabari Parker. But I think that's something they could potentially grab if they really wanted to. And then, let's go ahead and maybe fix up this rotation real quick. See what we do for this Miami Heat team. And uh, so, guys, the Miami, the Miami Heat and San Antonio Spurs are knocked out. Are already are knocked out of the playoffs. I already did the San Antonio Spurs offseason prediction. So, if you've not seen that, make sure to check the link in the description below. And then let's see what should we throw this at. I guess Bam Adebayo would make sense. Give him an A minus potential. And then let's look at this rotation. Let's see what we got as far as the rotation goes for the Miami Heat. So we got Goran Dragic at the point guard. D. Wade at the shooting guard, James Johnson at the small forward, Jabari Parker, Bam Adebayo, Josh Richardson, Kelly Olenek, Tyler Johnson, Justice Winslow, and Deion Waiters is not getting any minutes. All right, so we're going to fix up this rotation a little bit, make it a 10-man rotation. So now we got to do this. So we got D. Wade is going to come off the bench. You're going to be the sixth man, D. Wade. And then James jo Josh Richardson is going to start. James Johnson is going to come off the bench. He's going to be the uh, seventh spot in the rotation and then tyler johnson kelly will be the eighth man justice winslow Dion waiters you're going to start i think or no actually Dion waiters is going to come off the bench whoops 13 minutes a game man this team uh, has some this team definitely has some nice pieces around i swear so basically d way is going to run the backup point guard even though it says he's a backup shooting guard goran Dragic, you got tyler johnson josh richardson jabari parker bam Adebayo, d wade james johnson Kelly Link, justice winslow and Dion waiters that is a nice Lower rotation. Let's see how this team does. I mean, I think the first scoring option, it really should be Goran Dragic. I'll, and then I'll make Jabari Parker the second scoring option and see how that goes. And then uh, we're going to just let this team see see how it happens. I don't know. We're going to let this team just roll with it. And then uh, we'll go ahead and simulate to the end of the season, see how the team does, and hopefully they're another playoff team. Welcome to the question of the day concept part of the video. We have quite a bit of questions to go through. I'm going through the last two or the last two videos, the questions on those uh, comments. So, question: Which NBA teams have the brightest future, most young talent, most draft picks, and upcoming drafts other than the Sixers, Celtics, and Lakers? Velocity plays asset. I think the Nuggets because they have a lot of young talent over there. Question: You got winning it all and going number one in the draft. The Suns going number one in the draft and then winning it all. I got. The 76ers, I don't know. I believe in them this year. Maybe the probably the Warriors, though, unfortunately. Should, Le, should LeBron leave and join an other team on free agency, or should he stay and sign long-term in the Cavs? He should leave because I think the Cavs are just, I don't know. I think they are they need to rebuild. But Houdé Nation asked that last question, and Mr. Gonzaga asked that other question. So now we got, oh, I'm playing my video. All right. And then who do you prefer to build your team around, LeBron or Kawhi? Uh, I mean, if they're both in their prime, LeBron, but since Kawhi is younger, I guess Kawhi. But if, like I said, if if they were younger, then I would take LeBron. Now let's see what... Why... Okay, that's just... And then... Oh, I guess that's it. All right, so that's all the questions I have. Do you know... You know the NBA and NFL draft are coming. I cannot wait for that. Cowboy X-Factor asset. Yes, I'm excited for the NFL draft, and then the NBA draft should be cool as well. 
And uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for the questions. If you guys want me to answer a question, just leave it down in the comment section below this video and I'll be answering it in the very next video. I love you guys' questions. Ask, him, ask me anything, anything about basketball, me, related, whatever. Whatever you guys want to know, just ask it down below. So enjoy the rest of the video. So I thought this team was good, but, uh, you know, the NBA had other plans, or 2K had other plans. 24 and 58, 15th seed in the Eastern Conference, so that was not good at all. But Jabari Parker led the way with 19.8 points per game. My sound is on. I'm so sorry. That is unprofessional. D-Wade, 11 points per game, and Josh Richardson, 10. Yeah, so just a bad simulation by 2K, you know, it, what's new. But thank you, guys. Of course, so much for watching. I do appreciate it as always. And uh, hope you guys enjoy the last segment. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to let me know down in the comment section below. Leave a question, whatever you want to do. And then thank you guys again. This is Crush Bowls. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'm saying peace.